James Mike M0 MSN and uh, thank you for joining me on my channel. Now if this is your first visit then welcome and if it isn't um, and maybe you've seen two or three of my videos if you like them then please subscribe. It, it's always helpful and uh, always boosts my confidence to make me uh, make more of these videos but there we are. Anyway right the reason we're here now. Uh, in the last magnetic loop video I made, um, you probably saw at the end that uh, I'd uh, jerry-rigged together um, some um, a capacitor and uh, uh, the loop using some uh, PVC tape. Now, the reason behind that was I was actually taking some measurements uh, to see how much um, capacitance I needed to allow me to go down to the 80 meter band using this particular uh, loop. Now, the uh, the figure of eight is actually designed to be uh, dual band, but 20 and 40, not necessarily down to the 80 meter band. Um, so I was trying to be a bit greedy, see if I could get away with it or not. And I found that I can actually use it on 40 uh, natively. And if I short the, the banks out on the capacitor, um, I can increase the capacitance of the capacitor and therefore it brings me down to the 80 meter band uh, successfully. Although it's not 100% efficient, it's probably around about 40-50% uh, efficient rather than up in the, the, the 80 and 90% uh, efficient area as it is on the 40 meter band. Now this is due to the fact that it's only a 5 meter loop, although it's 10 meters uh, as a figure of 8, um, that is two um, five meter loops in parallel. So it's only actually a, a five meter loop, uh, regardless of how you look at it. Um, okay, so uh, this video is all about some um, alterations I've made to the loop, but uh, primarily about building the, uh, the coupling loop. So please enjoy, thanks. So having thought about it a little bit more, uh, I decided to remove the, the nickel plated uh, braid from the the loop and actually solder a tag directly to the uh, to the copper and the reason for doing this is basically hopefully to reduce the um, the, the resistance to the loop okay so here's what we've done with the capacitor basically I've put little bolts on each side so this is where the terminals of the capacitor come through. Um, this is the uh, the fixed plate, um, the stator, and this is the, the rotator, which I've uh, put a little bent washer at the base. Um, this then is held in place and is connected to this side. Um, and the, the top two banks, um, this bank on this side and this bank on that side have been shorted. Uh, to give it a higher capacitance um, although I could just run it as a pure butterfly for 40 meters as I'm trying to bring in the 80 meter band a little bit um, I decided to uh, shorten it and try to use it as a, a, a stator and rotator type um, capacitor anyway so this is how I'm going to connect it just bear with me so they would be uh, the other side of the nut uh, on both sides which is where they are um, and then obviously we've got this nice loop coming up and back around underneath the underside and then obviously down They're meeting at the top again. Time to make the coupling loop now. Um, I have two meters of 10 millimeter Heliax and an IP66 rated back box and flanges. Uh, okay, let's uh, start building. Open the door for the cat.
the idea is I'll glue that in place, make sure it's watertight. Put that uh, the center core and the external braid to the to the loop, and then that way I can put it that way up or that way up, depending on the uh, the placing on the, on the magnetic loop. Yeah, to get the idea. Could be doing something that looks like a gimbal. Probably isn't a gimbal. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So there we are. Um, I've created the loop for the bottom of the figure of eight um, out of um, an IP66 um, box, a junction box, um, and uh, some two meters of a Heliax. This is the um, I think this is eight millimeter diameter Heliax, uh, 75, uh, no correction, uh, 50 ohm Heliax from Andrews. Um, so I've created that. Uh, I've also, as you've seen, uh, all watertight and water sealed. Um, so now what we need to do is attach it to the bottom of the, the figure of eight and see how it all goes together. So here we are, our loop. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra, November. Is it Mike Zero, Mike Sugar, November? Very, very quiet. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra, November. Just testing a loop out, Jim. So uh, apologies for being quiet. M Zero, MSN. Yeah, yeah, you're uh, coming out. Uh, about between a six and a seven. Yes, understood. Um, I don't know if that's any better for you. I've just turned up the mic gain a little bit. Um, M0 MSN. Yeah, I think 
Rockfields come right up there as well. Uh, Peaks and Aimea and uh, Perfect Coffee now for me, Mike, over. Yes, Roger, you're uh, you're ten over with me at the moment, uh, so a really good signal from Scotland. Uh, my QTH is Gloucester, um, in the uh, middle of the UK, top of the southwest. In case you, uh, in case you didn't remember from the last time we talked, actually, back to you. Look here, you're in Gloucester, uh, Mike, and uh, it was forty meters we we bumped into each other uh, the last time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you're putting a, a nice signal at the moment and uh, the audio is perfect, uh, Mike, over. Roger, thanks very much indeed for that. Um, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to leave. I've got a little bit of an issue with uh, the uh, the Vox system. It's auto-keying. Uh, I think it's a bit too sensitive, so I'm going to have to sort that out. But thanks very much for for, uh, for answering my call. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra, November. Yeah, anytime, Mike. Uh, uh, no problem. Yeah, thanks very much indeed, and you have a very good evening as well. Cheers for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Just to give you some idea, that lower loop is um, 70 centimetres in diameter. Uh, this one. From there to there, 70 centimetres. And if we just keep going back, I keep going back and keep going back, and keep going back and keep going back. There's our loop. And at the moment, that's receiving Jimmy at uh, about 10 over nine. Um, absolutely wonderful. Here we go, anyway. It is big. How can I, uh, if I stand next to it, let's spin this round. Just to give you some idea of how tall this is, I'm standing next to it. So that loop is about the same height as me, the top of that loop. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's immense. Uh, Love it, and I still think a single loop would do the do the same job. Anyway, it's working really, really well, guys. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, another chance to get uh, going overboard for anything like that tonight. Uh, but I've got uh, I've got my Do you turn it off or does it turn itself off? What are you on about? The, um, you got to hold down the uh, the plus button. And it says goodbye. And it's as I suspected, um, I can't get enough uh, capacitance to get down to the 80 meter band. That's as low as I can get it. Um, so therefore, I'm going to have to make it a 2040. I don't know why the chat is not working. Typically, I have a chat chance, but not today. Uh, I don't know why. Anyway, no problem. Good. Uh, enjoy your last day of the year. Hopefully, you will have a fantastic 2022. Stay safe. God bless you. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra, November. <laughs>